In this uh, brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your multiple code with Coppelia uh, Robotics Simulation. So first of all, let me share my screen. Okay, so first of all, Coppelia, I assume that you downloaded Coppelia, and then starting from the uh, our website, you go under uh, research software. There is a Kinova Yako software kit, and you download Coppelia C. And this is a, a compressed file. I already downloaded in a uh, directory and uh, already uncompressed here. So basically, the main file that you should read first is instruction. So if you open instruction, it is a really a minimal file with the instruction steps to start your uh, link between MATLAB and Coppelia. So first of all, okay, you download it, fine. Then uh, you should reach the uh, subfolder of, of your uh, Coppelia uh, installation, this subfolder, so programming, remote, API binding, MATLAB, and you should copy the content of it in your work folder. So basically, for example, in my um, in my uh, computer, I have uh, this as PAT for Coppelia, then there is programming, remote API bindings, various languages, we are interested in MATLAB. Okay, MATLAB again, and here you have to copy all those files in your, uh, wherever you want to work, so in another directory. For example, in my case, I have Coppelia sim, and here function Coppelia, where I just copied all those files. Okay. Then you have to copy the proper library from Coppelia to your working directory, and you should select the file depending on your operative system. So there is, basically there is a DLL, or a DILIB, or a .so, depending on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And for Linux, you should pay attention to 32 or 74 bits. So those are different files. Uh, once that you have done, basically most of the work is done, in the sense that uh, you should now open Coppelia. So let me run Coppelia. I have a script just because I, I, I forgot what the binary is, but you can launch it easily in the way you prefer. And Coppelia opens uh, with a, an empty environment. Let me open a recent uh, scene. This file. And this file is, uh, is uh, already included uh, in the uh, compressed file that you downloaded from uh, our lab website. So you can decide here to reshape or to change uh, the view. This is basically just a model that need to be controlled via MATLAB. Okay. So now in order to see if the communication is working fine, what we can do is just to run a simple test uh, program. Simple test because uh, it is already available in the, in, the, in the working directory. This simple test from MATLAB. Every time that you open Coppelia, you start a server with a certain door. So here I open the simple test and I just run it. Now, this simple test basically measure the position of my mouse over the environment and basically read the number of objects in the scene. So in this case, if I come back, 
Okay, the Phoenician position is not. Let me let me modify it just to show you uh, that I'm reading the number of object in the scene without. Okay, let me comment this one so that I don't write anymore the position of the mouse. And that's it. Number of objects in the scene is 121. Whatever it is, it is important that the connection is there. And you should just pay attention on the fact that uh, it can arrive that if you do not connect, the default door uh, for the connection should be this one. In case you do not connect, maybe you can try or Google to, to, to find uh, if there is another door that is used by your uh, personal version of uh, Coppelia that uh, MATLAB should refer to. Okay, so now simple test is working, and uh, um, let me just uh, show the main template that uh, you can use in order to produce your. Uh, project exam, but very in the end, after all the other um, exercises that we are going to do in next uh, weeks. So basically, the main template is a, a function that uh, do all the job um, to, of communication between MATLAB and Compelia. You are not requested to enter into those details and ask you to put your code in two specific places. In the before the main control loop, where you should put all your initialization codes, for example, the H table, the control gains, the final time of the simulation, and so on. And within the main simulation loop, you should put uh, between those brackets the desired trajectory in the operative space, the error, and the desired joint velocity, okay? Then you should comment line 64, and all the remaining part should be kept unchanged. So this uh, template does all the job of communication between MATLAB and Copay. Now, I simply have a um, sinusoidal function in order to show you that it actually works. So let me just uh, reduce the MATLAB so that it's not in front of our, of our model. This is our, this is our model. This is MATLAB. And let me just uh, run main template so main template as you can see is okay this is just a fade for one sample it's, it's fade descending because it's simply moving with a sinusoidal uh, trajectory the join so this is just a template to allow you uh, to i mean make it easy the, 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 the communication the software linking part and allow you to focus on the robotics part Okay, so now the final time, I don't remember uh, the number, it should end soon. And we can appreciate that we have our joint position in the workspace. And we, we can then use MATLAB the way we are used to. Okay, so now for example, we can decide to write uh, the actual Q, so that the Q measured from Coppelia, and of course, those are just seven sinusoids because this is what we ask it to the robot. Well, and uh, that's all in the sense that uh, uh, you should be able uh, to, to do it uh, quite I mean, easily. And of course, uh, in case uh, any trouble arise, uh, just uh, let me know.